Hey everyone, this is Amy with Pretty Presets and I am going to do um, just a quick video uh, to show you how simple editing can be and that you don't need to spend a lot of time, um, especially when you can get it right in camera and how important that is. Um, that's where you really want to make sure that you're, um, you're exposing your photo correctly so that when it comes time to um, editing, you can look at the picture and you can see that it's um, properly exposed and then you can go through and you can look at your presets. So I'm just going to kind of show you what my workflow is like. Um, these are actually my kids. This is my oldest son, Ty, and this is my daughter, Bella. Um, you've seen her in um, several things. So we had our family pictures done. Um, Bridget uh, came out with me. Um, she lives in my city and she's actually a member of the group. And so um, she came out with me and did some family pictures um, with us not too long ago. So um, I am going to walk you through the steps that I do. I have some others in this series that I've edited and um, they're all going to be uh, done in canvas wraps up on my wall. So I'm super excited to get um, this project done. So um, there's Luckily, there's really not anything that I feel uh, needs to be, um, you know, taken out of the image. So that's really good. So what I do first is I usually will do brushes first for whatever needs it. Um, but with these two, he's got like a little zit right there. So let's... Um, just get rid of that. Uh, we'll just go down really small right there. We'll take care of that. Okay, so that's gone. And Bella generally has um, beautiful skin. If you don't already know, like I honestly, I didn't learn this until this year. I, for the longest time, I didn't know that um, you could come over here into this navigator box and just move this this thing around here in your picture. So what I did for like four years was if I, so say like this is where I was, but I wanted to be like over here at the top of Ty's head, I would close this out, then drag back up here, then open this back up and come over here and do this. And then say I wanted to be like, you know, where his hand is at. I would close it out and come back over here. I had no idea you could just move this around. So anyways, maybe that has helped some of you. So let's go over to Bella's face. Um, she looks pretty good right there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, get my eyes sharpen brush and I'm just going to swipe that across her eyes and then I'm going to do the same thing with Ty. Go across that. He forgot to shave before pictures so but he did get a haircut so that was good. Um, next I am going to both of them kind of have just a little bit of puffiness under here. So we're going to click on new. Then we're going to click our arrows again so we can see our brushes all over again. And we're going to go down here and we're looking for our under eye circles. And we're just going to kind of run that along just to kind of take some of that out. Um, this little dot right here on Ty, that, that is there. That's not something that, um, is going away. That's a part of him. So we're going to leave that there. Um, I, we're going to click new and we will whiten their teeth just a little tiny bit. I don't usually do like a ton of, um, teeth whitening for client pictures unless they ask me to. If they ask for teeth whitening, then I will. But since these are my own kids, I can do whatever I want. Um, and for face smoothing, 
I am actually not going to do any face smoothing on either of them. The reason being, I hardly ever do face smoothing on pictures of Bella because she has freckles and I want to keep those freckles and I want to be able to see them. Um, those are part of her and um, sometimes when you do face smoothing, you lose those freckles and I don't want to do that. Um, Ty, I, heard, I, I don't really often do face smoothing on guys. So um, I'm, I'm just choosing not to do that here. So now we're going to go back out. And then what I usually do is I now will choose the preset that I want. And so I just kind of like, I scroll through, um, let's see, since I'm already down here, the winter ones to me probably wouldn't be a choice of mine for this um, because I want more of the fall colors. So I would just kind of start with these. I don't want to do matte for these. So since these are my own photos, I already know the style that I want. Um, let's see what this looks like. Um, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to undo that. The reason I undid that is because sometimes I've noticed that some presets leave a little trail behind of what was um, applied and I don't know why and I don't know which ones do but I've just noticed that sometimes that happens so um, milk and honey and I we do not have a loving relationship like many of you do so um, I'm it's not as vibrant for me as I like I think that's what it is as I tend to like a little bit more of a punch so let's uh, go up here Juniper, looking up here, Juniper is not going to work for me for this particular um, photo. I, I want something a little bit different here. Um, Seagrove and I really like each other. I actually really like that here. I think it looks really good in this field. We shot this, um, this like I we were like really um, playing with time here um, and and the sun. Uh, we stayed in this one spot right here um, the entire time with these photos. So I don't know. I'm not really loving this, even with the changes that I made. Okay, so let's go back down into our history, and we're going to go back to that point. So if you didn't know that, that's another little trick you can do. If you're going, eh, not really feeling it, not really loving that, I don't want to go in to edit and go undo, 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 back to the point where you want. Just go back into your history and go back to the point where you want to be, which was before I applied Seagrove click on that point and then it will take you back to that point so that's where we want to be ah, okay so let's go back up here I'm looking for something that has more light in it Sometimes it's one of those things where you're going to know exactly what it is when you see it and you have to learn not to always rely on the same exact preset every time. Where is Preja? Let's see. Let's try that with a warm highlight. Let's go even warmer. I like that. Okay, so then I will come up here and I always like to add a little bit more contrast. Um, and then I will come down here to clarity and I'm going to, I'm going to reduce it just a little bit. Let's see how Ty has the shadow right here. We're going to pull up our shadows a little bit. And Bella, you know, the tricky thing is 
um, my son is adopted. He's half Samoan. So he's, he's obviously, he's darker than the rest of us. We're pretty white, um, especially my daughter um, in this picture. So it's always, you know, kind of a nice balance to um, get whoever is. But I want you to watch this right here as I am playing with the highlights right here. You see how this is light gray in this area here. Now watch as I move the highlights down. Now it turns gray. So that means now we've got this, this balanced here. So now I'm going to, I usually just play with certain sliders just to see how I like it. I actually, I like the black more kind of where it was. So I'm going to go down here and then I'm going to increase my sharpen a little bit because I do not sharpen when I export. Um, I never have, I never do. So I always, um, my sharpening is usually anywhere between 30 and 50. Honestly, it just depends on the photo. It depends on um, how much extra sharpening the photo needs. And then I usually add um, or increase the the luminance here. So um, I think that for this particular picture, I want to see what happens if I go in and just kind of manually increase a little bit of the temp. Actually, I don't like that. So I'm going to take it back down a little bit. But I like the greens that are down here. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on my greens and I'm just going to play with the hue and the saturation. So just kind of watch these greens and see what happens as I do that. Um, they will change quite a bit. See, I don't want them that shade there, but I also don't want them that shade. So I kind of want to give them a little bit of a different color than what they were. I kind of like them there. So I'm going to increase that just a little bit, just to give it a little pop. And so we got that. I'm going to look up here. I think there's a little bit of orange to his face. I'm going to take that out. So I'm just going to take the saturation down just a little bit. Okay, so now I'll show you what the photo was like before and after. So this is the before and after. This is what I really like here. I like photos that are um, a bit warmer and that um, that just have a little bit more contrast to them. So that's it. That's that's all I do from beginning to end um, for that photo. And what's nice is that I have some other photos in here that um, that are. Uh, that are already flagged and so then I can just go in and I can sync them up. Some of them have already been edited and some of them haven't. Um, so it's kind of nice because uh, it'll be easier for me to go in and to edit them. So anyways, um, thank you and hopefully you uh, learned something new today. And we'll see you next time as you go out and create something pretty and share it with all of us in the group. Bye-bye.